We have a typical university with typical university students, but there is an issue hidden here. I had heard other people were doing it, just not here. And I've made it my goal to find out the truth. I never imagined to be here, I and mean, this is like a small town, you know, you think you're safe from this kind of thing, and then, and you see one of your friends do it. I started my journey by talking to faculty and staff. We have students coming from all over the world and they bring their different viewpoints, but overall we're committed to keeping everybody at the university safe at all times. Sometimes people have a need to go against society, so intervention with professional counseling is oftentimes warranted. Well, people think this is a Democrat or liberal issue, but what we're finding is that it's beginning to affect more and more Republicans and conservatives as well. And then this happened. While interviewing this student, we caught a classmate in the act. I'm gonna regret later, you know? And, whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Hey, 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 whoa, is, that a, is that a water bottle? No. You're not gonna reuse those, right? <laughs> no, no, I was just, no, 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 I was just, no, no way. Hey, stop, I just wanted to look at you. No, 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 no. Recycling. Recycling. In the darkest hallways of campus, they collect the items in abandoned storerooms and sympathetic faculty members' offices to later be delivered to the recycling center. While on the outside, everyone seems to be against the practice. Hey guys. Hey. hey. Are you guys uh, you guys gonna recycle those cups? No. Um, you know, it's an economic principle of production. We want to see businesses producing more and more to grow the economy. Hey, uh, are you going to recycle that bottle? Uh, no. No way. You don't recycle? No. Okay. No, thank you. If we didn't bury all our trash, then what would the archaeologists learn about us in the future? Uh, Chris? I met with this man who claims to have insider information. I've actually been part of uh, departments that have condoned this kind of behavior. Um, and I'm out of that now, and the professors, you know, were on board, but uh, I've heard that it's gone all the way to the top, all the way to the uh, administration. Could the administration really be involved? I went to find out. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if uh, President Hargrave's in. He's not right now, he's actually out in meetings. Uh, well, yeah, it's really important. I, I want to ask him about if he has any further comment on recycling. Good. Uh, we've already issued a statement on that. We don't okay. really have anything else to say. Well, do you mind if I just no, you're actually, try to go you're in? No, you're not allowed in there. Um, sorry, no. Nope. Do you recycle? I do not recycle. Yes, you do. Liar. Shut up. The university is remaining tight-lipped while students are finding ways to deal with recycling on their own. My name is Joe. My favorite way to avoid recycling is using styrofoam cups, because they can't be recycled. Like, why would anyone want... Why would anyone... No. Some students are giving up, but others are standing up for what they believe. Like these students. They have a message. It's time we settle this once and for all, so join us here on April 22nd as we reveal an event that will wipe this earth completely clean of this problem. On April 22nd, all across campus, students are gathering to put into motion a plan that will solve recycling once and for all. They call it Party for the Planet. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum.